all right what's up guys this is really well 82 you're watching really well 82 youtube and i'm gonna show you guys how to do this carrier easter egg all right so uh you could do this either on solo or co-op i choose to do it on solo so i'm gonna just show you how a boss does it you gotta have a teleporting grenade and do that part shoot it right up in there turn on this power that's the first step so you buy a teleporter uh grenades in the armor so the next step this is the most complicated step to me this is uh you actually have to uh use the grenade disposal device and every time you want to start off the grenade disposal device after you turn on that power you have to shoot the teleporting grenade into there first to get that little box over there in the left hand top corner and then for this one i know i'm going kind of quick and uh i'm pretty much uh i'm doing it by the lottery you know i'm playing the lottery to get this thing going for me to get those grenades in to finish it off you can either actually have the grenades to shoot in there or you could do it by the lottery which is wait until that little symbol turns into the the actual grenade that you want and then you shoot it up in there but i'm just showing you a little gameplay on how i do it let's look at, woo, I'm, I'm too much of a boss i'll go real quick but uh what you guys can do is actually go into my description and I have it there, the order that you need to go in to make all those lights turn green. And that's the whole point of this grenade disposal box is to shoot all these grenades in here and get all those lights that's on the right green. You have three lights to get green. And that's pretty much what I'm doing right here on this uh, example. So, you know, the first thing you do, you, sh you shoot a teleporting. I'm just kind of tell you the first roll. You have to shoot that teleporting grenade in there to get it started. And after that, you have to get a distraction drone and a frag in there. Uh, the second time, you shoot that uh, teleporting grenade in there. And then after that, you got to get an explosive, distraction, explosive, and a frag in there. And then after that, on the third row, you shoot that uh, teleporting grenade in there just to get it started. And then after that, you go for the explosive, nano, explosive, distraction, explosive, and frag. And uh, that's about it. I'm on the distraction part right now. So I wait till the symbol turns into a distraction symbol, which is like right there. Oh yeah, look at that, like a boss. And then after that, I'll just uh, wait till that symbol turns into a frag. And then uh, I'll go ahead and shoot it in there and finish it off in that tight space because I am a boss. And that's that third light. So after that, you just go ahead and pick up the disc right there and then put that into the bolt and that will light up the uh the second light on that bolt the first light is lit up by uh turning on the power in the beginning of the game uh first thing you do is touch it it'll activate this uh narration uh little scene right there and after that narration scene is done you'll uh touch it again and he'll actually it'll, the, the bolt will take the little pad or whatever so that's what you do on that part that's uh step three which to me is the most difficult part so uh really? no delivering a data pad is step four which i'm doing right here he finished so, so i got Captain's went ahead and uh, put that there i was confronted so now some of my once that's done i'll let you listen to the narration because that's the narration you get after you uh, put the data pad on the, me, the vault so now you want to get that third light lit up on the vault and this is pretty much this part the drunken laser part and with that drunken laser part you have to feed that uh, zombie hand uh, your weapon in that weapon disposal machine. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm feeding him uh, this gun. With this gun, he gives me the bottle. He drops the bottle on the ground. I couldn't show you guys specifically, but he just threw it on the ground right now. And because I was too busy messing with these zombies, but you know he did that because you don't get, you didn't get any points or any uh, fishing pole reels or any of that stuff. So I went ahead and go ahead and grab that bottle. Make sure you have a crawler left. If you're playing with, uh, if you're doing this on Colo Op, everybody needs to be in this room, the bio lab right here, for you to start and activate this so you can uh, go ahead and do the drunken laser part. So this is what I'm doing right here. I got him pretty good at it because I can just speed through it. This is my solo gameplay. So if you're playing with co op again, everybody has to be in the bio lab for you to be able to start this and uh, have them. You know, have a crawl up in there, have them train some zombies. Make sure you have all these doors open. Uh, you're going to need around five, six grand to have all these doors open. Just make sure you have it open before you start this laser, fucking laser part. And just follow this path that I'm going. It's an easy path to follow, guys. It's not hard at all, not hard at all. 
You're doing all this to get your data pass so you can just put it on that vault and get that third light lit up. So this is the path you have to take. And just make your way through it. That's all you have to do. And I like to show you guys all, all the little details and stuff with the, these Easter eggs. Because uh, I kind of watched the, the videos on other people's uh, channels and it just didn't give you the details or they just kind of just all over the place. Or it almost sound like they didn't really know what they were talking about. But after you finish that, I saw, saw I picked up the data pad right there by the teleporter. Just go ahead and take this to the vault. Put it on the vault and you'll activate another uh, narration scene. That third light lit up on the vault. And after that, you're on to the next step. Yeah, Captain which is step Islam, six, the, the teleporters. So you gotta kill these teleporting zombies, Chief right? Officer and they're gonna drop a, like a little teleporter uh, fragment. Shit, or, you know, I guess you could call it. So let me show you all the frags I picked up. Because you gotta uh, pick up the frags and put it in that broken teleporter that's in the bio lab. And you gotta do that 20 times for it to activate. So watch me beast. I'll show you all these little teleporters I get. See, teleporting grenade right there. Um, a zombie. So you drop the teleporter thing. I picked it up. You see the icon by my uh, my card. I put it into that broken teleporter down there. So you got to do that 20 times. Make sure you kill those guys. You pick it up. Put it into the teleporter. So I just want to show you my gameplay on solo. How I did it. And how I get into the teleporter. Because it's, it's, it's easy to tell you guys to, oh yeah, kill the zombie, put it in the teleporter, but you might not have a good strategy on how to do that. So I'm just showing you guys my strategy. My gameplay, this, this is just how I do it. Also, guys, uh, I decided I'm gonna try something new and I'm gonna have this actual full easter egg video i'm gonna post it out the same time as this too and if you just want to watch the whole thing without it being uh edited then you could do that too but i'm just going ahead killing all these teleporting zombies picking up their teleporting frags frags or whatever and putting it right into this uh teleporter i also like to use this strategy too where i'm using the nanos or a distraction will work too, but you just keep them all in one spot and just uh, pick it up right there. Pick up another one, take it to the spot, have the nano slow them down while I pick up uh, another frag from these guys. Just pick it up, put it in the, the teleporter. These guys are dropping like crazy right now, so it helps out. This is kind of like the part of the game where you're just knocking out these rounds for the most part because you, you'll probably get about two of these on average about two of these teleporting zombies each round that's about the average maybe every one or so other, maybe every other round it'll probably won't be any teleporting zombies coming at all but uh yeah, maybe on another round you'll have about five teleporting zombies and maybe on another round you have two so to me it kind of averages out to two Two bot to uh, teleport and frags around. Two or three. See, so you know I love my nano strategy. And on the dogs, it's easy because the nano, the na they just die real quick on the nanos. See, I just do that. Just got an easy two uh, teleport and frags from the uh, dogs. This one right here, I blew it. It was a teleporting uh, zombie behind me. I did not get it from that uh, that troop that was shooting me. Just to let you guys know. So I placed that there. Got me another one. You can hear these guys too. So when you hear them, just uh, if they're by themselves, it's the perfect time to actually do it. So I put it in there. Getting these guys out of my way. And then I, I'm, I'm cleaning up right here. I'm getting all the rest of them. So I see it, put it in there, pick up another one right away, put it in there, pick up another one right away. I can go ahead and put that one in there. It's like, what, my third one? 
just picked up another one. I was like, oh, these things are dropping like crazy. That was like the fourth one I got. Put it right up in there. Boot back, pick up, and put it right in there. And then there was one more. I was just like, oh, this thing is not activated yet. I just picked up like five in a row. That was my sixth one right there. And booyah! Got it activated like a freaking boss. That's how you that's how you play this game, guys. Just just to let you know. Alright, so once you get that done, you wanna have your uh your fishing pole put together. Alright, because you gotta you know got gotta fish for a shovel. So pretty much to do that, you just uh, pick up all the pieces in there. You got the reel, you got the, the wire, and you got the hook. So there's three different times you gotta go to that weapon disposal uh uh, guy hand and uh, you know give him a gun it, it's random and he'll uh, slowly but surely give you the pieces most of the time you'll be getting uh, 200 points but that's that's where you have to have good money management skills man you got to stack up uh, uh, points on these zombies so you need to have a, a point racking gun like the shotguns they're perfect because they uh, get a bunch of you can get some kills with them plus you're racking up points but uh, also on the like uh, you know on the you probably got the Pytech or the uh, the other uh, LMG weapon. Hey, you know you try. rack up points on those too. Just hoard your zombies, shoot them all up, and you'll rack up a bunch of points on that. But yeah, you're gonna have to from the very beginning of the game. You're gonna have to stack up the points to get all this stuff done. So once you got your shovel, go to your nice activated teleporter. And yeah, uh, you're gonna have to, uh, you know, dig up the the other uh, little iPad, the other little device that you put got to put on the bolt. This might actually take you a couple of times to do. Uh, you just it's a hit and miss. You gotta get lucky. It could be anywhere on this beach. You just gotta spend that limited amount of time digging up uh, the holes in the beach. And if you get it on your first try, you get it. Which I got it on my first try. So you just, uh, you know, open up the box, get your uh, pad, and then take that right back to the vault. But I had to handle uh, these guys real quick, so we're just going to skip forward and uh, show you guys uh, that's taking this thing to the vault. But uh, for the most part, uh, oh yeah, I just had to collect my money real quick. You know, it's rare when that, those things uh, malfunction like that, but I like when it does. But uh, well, for the most part, this is what I'm doing. I'm taking that pad to the vault. This is the fourth pad. And then after this fourth pad, you have one more pad to get, which is in that, uh, Day 13. Which is in that locker. Darla so, in order to do that, you have to let that narration go. Once that narration finishes, I'm bleeding out from the you'll uh, go to that uh, locker. And uh, just uh, you know, just uh, interact with it so it can uh, do the dialogue. Next step won't start until you do that, until you interact with that locker. Another wave. So once they say, is, "Oh, it's locked," then you got to activate it to have the drones out. And there's the drones right there. The drones come every third round, but you'll skip the first drone and or one of the drones and just go after the other drone that's holding the the lever that you need. So I have my nice upgraded uh, S12. That's perfect to get that thing open so it won't go away. And uh, I'm just take that lever to the moon pool. And you put it right here on this power box. Right here. That's right by the, the printer. And once you do that, you got to go back to the reel and get your little fish. So you can go uh, give that to the nice little sharky that's waiting for you at the bottom of the, the moon pool. Once you get that fish, it might take you several tries. Uh, once you get it, well, so you're good to go. Now this spot right here is one of the spots that you need to uh, kill your zombies over. Because what you got to do is make the dr uh, blood drop into the water, which is on that spot right there. And I'm going to show you the other two spots in a second. Uh, you have to attract the shark to you. Once you attract the shark, that's where you're going to pull that lever and that little uh, shark cage will drop. So that's one spot. That's another spot, and this is the third spot. So all three of these, these spots, you need to kill your zombies on. Use what you use, a distraction drone. Just, you can use the trap, which was nicely activated when I was killing all these zombies, so that was cool. 
and just kill the zombies over these three spots right here so the blood can drop into the pool and then you see the shark right there i saw the shark so you have to hurry up and uh go ahead and activate that uh shark cage and after that the shark cage is going to drop the floor is going to open up and then what you want to do is hop right on top of the shark cage the lid is going to open up and you're going to fall right in and then of course you have that fish on you so you just look around just circle around and the shark is going to try to bite the cage and then that's when you hold your square button on playstation you know four and uh interact with it or uh you know the the same kind of button on uh, xbox 2. after you do that you'll get this shark eye you take that shark eye back to dj uh locker and it'll open it up it's an optical st scanner well, i don't understand why a shark's eye will be will have the will be the passcode for the optical scanner because you have to set it first which how did you get the shark shot which which is don't make sense to me don't worry about me i'm rambling first but that will activate the fifth light and then after that all you need is your c4 well and you get that from the weapon disposal box so again you have to give them your nice little weapons my weapons are nice and upgraded now so it kind of pees me off to give it to them but who cares the game is going to end i wasn't going to give them my s12 that's a level 20 so I just gave him this little AK that I didn't do nothing with, but and he ended up uh, giving me the C4. So I was like, cool. Now all you got to do is just take that back to uh, the vault, put it on there, and you have completed the Easter egg, guys. Uh, if you need to watch it again, go ahead and rewind this video. But that's about it. This is Really Real 82. Go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, favorite, comment at the end. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Easter egg. Peace out.